I think it's about time to make Twitter your ex. The way the site functions now, it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for a lot of people out there. It's not a good place to be anymore. Plus the algorithm is tuned to give you stuff that makes you angry because that drives engagement and it's not good for your mental health. So I think it's really time to move from Twitter over to something better. I'll only be posting on there if it's like some business stuff or sharing my music or whatever. I'm not going to post anything personal on X anymore. It's dead to me. It is my ex. Now, a lot of people already moved to the Fediverse, and that's a much better platform, especially for your mental health. But I understand it's a little bit nerdy for a lot of people, and it's not owned by a billionaire. In fact, it's not owned by really anybody. There's a gazillion different little servers. Well, there's now Blue Sky. It's been just a much nicer place to come and hang out. The problem is, is once you get over here, as you can see, I, I, no followers, no following, you know, it's not, it's not the same. Over here, it's completely different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to find those people and then follow them on Blue Sky if they have accounts. After that, let's talk about moderation, because it's a bit prudish over there. Above and beyond that, we'll set up just some moderation that will block massive swaths of idiots. We're talking like crypto people and AI people and just NFT people, all that kind of stuff. We can block them all by following a few moderation things. So I'll show you how all that works. I use OEM keys for a few different reasons. This is the price you're going to pay for Windows 11 Pro if you get a retail key. Let's check those prices on whokeys.com. $30, you know, we can do better. But in TS25, click apply. There we go, $23.22. Let's say you want to get a copy of Windows 10 Pro. Let's click on buy it now. Coupon code TS25, hit apply, and watch that price come down. There we go. The other thing is OEM keys are generally locked to your hardware. So if you move it from one motherboard to another, you may need to get another key, but you'll have to get many, many, many keys to equal the price of one retail key. If you need Office, you're also going to be able to get those same deals, 25% off on Office 2019 and 2016. These are offline versions of Office without monthly fees. Let's go ahead and check out with our copy of Windows 11 Pro. All right, I just put in my card info. There we go. Click on View Keys and Codes. Once you get to the User Center, click on Get the Key. You'll see your key right here in the middle. Go ahead and highlight that, copy that, hit Start, type Activate, click on Activation Settings, paste it in there, click on Next, and you will be activated. Also, everything over here is on sale and TS25 is going to work. So head over to whokeys.com. Thanks to them for sponsoring. And now on to our regularly scheduled program. The first thing we need to do is get a copy of Sky Follower Bridge. And right here it is if you're using Chrome. I'm using Firefox. I'll put all these links down below. So Sky Follower Bridge, I want to add that to Firefox. And I've been using this for a few weeks now with no ill effects. But, you know, after I'm finished, and I'm done for sure, I'll change my password just to make sure. So in order for this to work with Blue Sky, you're going to need to create an app-specific password. That way the app will not have your regular password. So right here, see this, copy that. And now we can add an app password. So I'm going to add app password right here. I'm going to enter my app name. I ignore my password generator. So I'm going to enter an app pass name. I'm just going to call this SkyBridge. There we go. I'm going to create an app password right here. I'm just going to copy that. Now when we go back over to Twitter, and see the followers and following? I want to click on followers so I can find people to follow. And click on our SkyBridge follower. Put in your complete username and that new app password we just created. And then click on Find Blue Sky Users. It's going through all of our Twitter data and trying to match it up with usernames on Blue Sky. So it, it looks at master boot record and it says, is there a master boot record with this at or this name? And it looks, and then if that doesn't work, it tries to find, you know, at symbols or whatever. It tries to find names in here, but it didn't find any for that. So uh, it scrolls down. If you're already following the same person, like Cosmic Void, what, what's up? Any day of making adventure games, great. I'm already following them. So just scroll down and you'll see plenty of people. Azura, why aren't you on? Why aren't you on there? All right, follow on Blue Sky. That's not the same as Azura. Take a look. See Azura, not the same. So keep on scrolling until you find, scroll slowly. Because if you scroll quickly, this little button will not generate and you'll have to come back up here, click on this, and then do it again. Which is not that big of a deal, but you know, it's tedious. So keep on scrolling. I'm already following a lot of these people. I've already gone through this. There we go. Here's one. Oh, Forge of Fate. They're now finally on uh, Blue Sky. So I can click follow on Blue Sky. There we go. I just followed them on Blue Sky. Keep on scrolling down. You can scroll down through all your people and just see if they're on there. And if you're making a Blue Sky account, just note that people won't be able to find you with this if you have a totally different name. So maybe that's what you want and that's fine. All right, so there we go. That's how you follow people. And then you can, you know, follow a whole bunch of the people who used to be on Twitter, but have now moved over to a more wholesome platform. All right, now it's time to keep out the riffraff, y'all. We don't need any junk. When you're on Blue Sky, you can click on settings and then go down to moderation. And in here, we've got all kinds of stuff. You can enable your adult content as long as you have verified and put in your you know, date of birth and all that. Now we have our muted words and tags. So go ahead, I'm just doing MAGA, Trump, and woke. 
because I'm sick of hearing about it. And then uh, my moderation list. So moderation lists allow you to follow different lists of blocked content, like content scrapers and stuff. So I'm following scrapers, but I'll show you how this works. I've created one called garbage. And I'm just going to be adding like anti-human people who are just like pro-corporation, anti-human. They're getting added to the list. People who are pro-slavery, they're getting added to the list. Fascist, hateful people, bigots, scammers, scrapers, AI nerds, tech bros, all those kind are going to get added to this list because I just don't care about them at all. And it's not really a free speech thing for me as much as it is is like I don't give a shit. So I don't want to see it. Let's show you how to follow some more of these. And I've put up links to these in the description. You can always look up others. But this one is just weird crypto right wing accounts. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of fucking weirdos yes so there's not many on here but whatever just maybe as they add them and you can always come down and look and be like okay some of these yeah i don't care about but yeah this is crypto nft so subscribe and you can say if you want to mute or block the accounts so these i'll just mute they can still see my stuff but i don't want to hear any other garbage over here content scrapers so what is a content scraper well those are people who just pull content from everywhere else basically everything that you see on tiktok and instagram they just steal content from every other person out there every other artist and then slap it together and put it on their feed is like oh look at this cool thing i found or look at this a lot of times they don't credit the original artist or anything so these content scrapers are essentially engagement farmers and their accounts are just normally filled with spam and sometimes you'll look and be like let's see like oh this one looks cool let's see what we got here uh oh it's a blue art scraper huh no post yet and trump vance elon so yes you know what let's just go ahead i don't need to deal with this let's go ahead i'm gonna unmute this and i'm gonna block them unmuted you give me a chance to subscribe again i'm just gonna block them all there we go i do not like content scrapers generative ai stuff ai supporters and all that <sighs> look at all this mess sure okay i'm gonna go ahead and just mute them all you can block them if you want as well. If you don't want them to see your stuff, actually, which I don't want them to see my stuff, block. Bye. You're not going to be interested in anything I do anyway because I make real shit. They're not interested in real shit. So this is more AI, crypto, NFT stuff. So I'm just going to subscribe to this one too and uh, mute all these accounts. There we go. There'll be some others, uh, especially looking for some that block like all the right wing people and Nazis and stuff. That would be nice to have. But yeah, you got to like do a little bit of a scroll and just make sure that it looks right. You know, like, OK, so you got to be careful with some of these because some of them are not blocking anything that's bad. It's just like you look at it and it's like this list. I mean, they're just made by people. It says it's you know blocking AI, but then you scroll down and you're like some of the people on here are just artists who and their stuff doesn't really isn't really ai so you got to be careful a little bit but hopefully some of these lists will just help you keep your feed nice and clean also as a rule of thumb i recommend uh not arguing let's not make this place twitter i mean you can do whatever you want but i'm going to be blocking people pretty quickly on on blue sky because i want it to feel like a nice community and if you're hateful or you're garbage or you're just a f weirdo you're getting blocked that's it, just instantly blocked. And there's a lot of weirdos on Twitter. They're the people who call it X. And they're gonna stay over on X because they love Elon. They deserve him and he deserves them. And they can have a nice little polycule. So I hope this helps you uh, end a toxic relationship. Let's just keep Twitter as an X and uh, go on to better pastures. If you're also interested in the Fediverse, well, I've already made videos on this, but I do have easymode.im. Gotta be cool to go over there, though. Not a huge amount of activity on it because I think a lot of the people on there have, you know, stuff that they do like games and lives and whatever. But it's a nice place that feels cozy, in my opinion. A lot of gamers on there, a lot of really cool people. So if you're interested in the Fediverse as well, check out EasyMode.im. I'll put these links in the description. That's pretty much it. And uh, to finish up, here's something from the new album. If you've been living under a rock, I just released a new album uh, like last week or something. I don't know what what is today like the end of the month, last month. So that link's in the description as well. Here's a little bit of the music. I'll see you next time.